using mnemonics and tricks to know the three parts of the maxillary artery. The external carotid artery terminates into the superficial temporal and the maxillary. The first part is the mandibular, which has five branches. For this, we'll use a mnemonic DAMIA. D for deep auricular, which passes through the external acoustic meatus. A for anterior tympanic artery, which enters the squamotympanic fissure. M for the middle meningeal, enters the spinous foramen. I for the inferior alveolar, which enters the mandibular foramen. And finally, the A for the accessory meningeal artery, which enters the foramen ovale. Now, part two is pterygoid, which is also five branches. The deep temporal artery, supplying temporalis muscle. The pterygoid artery, for the lateral and medial pterygoids. The masseteric artery, for the masseter and the buccal artery for the buccinator. And we finally have part three of the maxillary, the pterygopalatine, which has six branches. We'll call it the five P's and an I. The pterygoid canal to pharynx and tympanic cavity, the pharyngeal artery to the pharynx, the greater palatine descending to hard and soft palate, posterior superior alveolar artery to the maxilla, the sphenopalatine to the nasal cavity, and finally, I for the infraorbital artery, which enters the inferior orbital fissure. Hey, I encourage you to share this video with people who want to actually know this. And save this video for some review later.